Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at theory of quadratic equations. The first part of our video will be the introduction to theory of quadratic equations. According to Henry Poincaré, if you wish to foresee the future of mathematics, our proper course is to study the history and the present condition of the science. A quadratic equation is an algebraic equation of degree 2 and with two solutions derived from a Latin word quadratus, which means square in English. Theory of quadratic equation begins with Egyptian mathematicians, which was documented in Berlin Papyrus dated 3000 BC, to solve second degree equation for a specific example. Babylonian mathematicians around 2000 BC used geometric method to solve quadratic equation. The algorithm used by the Babylonian mathematicians to solve the equation can be traced to the New Sumerian Empire. The geometric methods basically used to solve quadratic equations with positive root employed by Egyptian and Babylonian mathematicians have no specific or general formula. Thus, most of the examples solved by them were premeditated. The pure geometric approach to quadratic equation was postulated by Greek mathematicians Pythagoras of Samos and Euclid of Alexandria. The rule for quadratic equations was documented in the Chinese treatise on mathematics called the Nine Chapters on the Mathematical Arts. Diophantus of Alexandra, a Greek mathematician, solved quadratic equations with one root around 260 AD. In 628 AD, Brahmagupta, an Indian mathematician, gave the closest solution to the modern quadratic formula. The negative coefficients of the unknown and their solutions were discussed in 1293 AD by Yang Hui, a Chinese mathematician. It was a Persian mathematician, Muhammad al Khwarizm, that completely described completely the square. He stated that discriminant must be positive. However, Abd al Hamid, a 9th century Muslim mathematician, stated that a quadratic equation has no solution if its discriminant is negative and that the root can be irrational numbers. Abu Kami Shuja, an Egyptian mathematician, was the first to accept irrational numbers as roots of quadratic equation. He also considered irrational numbers as the coefficient of the quadratic equation. The first notable book that gives the full solution to the general quadratic equation was written in the 12th century by a Jewish mathematician, Abraham Bahia Hanasi. In 1594, Simon Stephen, a Flemish mathematician, discussed all cases of quadratic equation. The modern quadratic formula we have today was written in 1637 by René Descartes, a French mathematician. Applications of quadratic equation. Nowadays, except perhaps, quadratic equation has application in all fields of science. In mathematics, for instance, it is used in the equation of a circle, parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, and so on. A quadratic equation a s squared plus b s plus c equals zero, where a, b, c are co coefficient, where a is the quadratic coefficient, b is the linear coefficient, and c the constant term or free term, provided that a not equals zero. If a equals zero, then a s squared turns to zero, leaving b s plus c equals zero, which is a linear equation. However, if a equals one, then we have a monique quadratic equation. There is only one unknown, x in the quadratic equation called univariate. In a quadratic equation, the powers of x are non-negative integers. Quadratic equation is a polynomial equation of degree 2, and therefore, quadratic equation is not the same as quadratic function. The values of x are called solutions of quadratic equation, which are roots or zeros. The solution must be two roots, which may be real and distinct and non-either. If one solution exists, then the solution is a double root. The method for solving quadratic equations are factoring, completing the square, quadratic formula, and graphical solution. Other alternative methods of root calculation are Vieta formula, trigonometric solution, geometric solution, characteristic 2, and Muller's method. This is the end of part 1. If you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe button for more videos.